uh, we have manoj uh, our youtube subscriber and he requested for the mock interview so hi manoj uh, welcome to s3 cloud hub and uh, hi sir yeah so manoj is basically a graduate fresher and uh, he's looking for the job change uh, and majorly is looking for the full stack development so we'll focus on the full stack uh, development interview and uh, uh, let's see how manoj is performing on the mock interview so manoj are you ready yes sir yeah okay yeah. good yeah so let's start uh, so manoj uh, just uh, let us know you are about yourself and uh, what skill you are aware about and uh, tell me something about your uh, projects uh, sure sir uh, my name is manoj i'm from chikmagalur is uh, popularly known as land of coffee so it's called La- uh the land of net uh i'm completed my graduation in bachelor of engineering in the department of electronics and communication <coughs> then my skill set are i'm good in html css and javascript i also something about for java also so in coming to my project in my graduation i done two projects uh, one is mini project and then another one is major project in mini project uh, called as factory stock inventory management system using iot so then the major project is automatic river cleaning robot using iot so i am uh, working on iot technology in the college uh, project also so in in that in automatic river cleaning robot so we know that uh, uh, water pollution is a major issue in this, these days so how we how tackle this effect using using technology so i choose these two project as in my, in the in my college uh, that's all about myself okay manoj can you tell me what uh, tools and technology you use for your uh, projects ah uh, sir ah uh, uh, in my those project also i use arduino as a microcontroller so we use uh, so use arduino as a microcontroller so we can dump the whole code and run their adaptable functionality then i use arduino ide as a platform to dump a code into arduino then i use uh, uh, some sensors to recognize the value from the environment to the microcontroller uh, these are the technology i use okay 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 and uh, yeah thanks for your introduction and let's move over your uh, 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 technical part where uh, full stack development so you are aware about the html yes sir okay so what is html html is a markup language to create a web pages so html element tells how to display on the web pages okay and uh, uh, can you tell me some uh, common tags which are using in the html Ah, sir. Come on, a header tag, body tag, the HTML tag, and division tag. Okay. Then paragraph tag, pre tag. So some other tags are used according to the function. Okay. And how to define table in using HTML? Sorry, sir. Table. How to create a table using HTML? Ah, sir. yes, sir. Yeah, using table tag used to create a table. Then you can row, span, column, span. Hmm. according to the what we what we write a table according to the using the tags we create a table in the table okay and how to add the data in the table ah sir so using header tags mm, no i think it's a td if you remember ah, yeah okay okay no problem. so what is uh, hypertext in the html uh, hypertext is nothing but a link a text which contains a reference of another web pages mm-hmm. known as hypertext okay and uh, what is css ah uh, css means cascade style sheets uh, it is used to apply style for html elements mm mm-hmm. can you give some example uh, for example uh, we have one tag header tag like s3 cloud up then we apply style uh, color of the 
tag, then font of the tag. Uh, or it is in left side or right side. This is, this is called styles. Okay. And what type of CSS you use? Sir, uh, there are three types of CSS. Uh, inline CSS and internal CSS and external CSS. Uh, inline CSS means we write a style in the tag itself. Next, we have a tag S3 cloud out. Then in that opening tag, we have put a style attribute and the style value and the tag name. This is style inline style sheet. Okay. Okay. In the search, there are some limitations, so they move into internal search. See, uh, the internal search sheet means the right we need to write a style sheet, style in the tag, HTML file itself. Then we go to then another type is the CSS, the external CSS. It means uh, we write style in another file with extension CSS. It should be there. Dot CSS. Next, we link to the that file into HTML. Then we that's the that's the also we can apply style for HTML elements. Okay. <coughs> and uh, what type of CSS selectors? Answer. Ah, select CSS selectors means the tag which we selecting to apply the styles. It's called selectors. There are four to five types of selectors are there. Uh, tag name selector. ID name selector, ID selector, class selector, group selector, and another one is uh, for CSS is pseudo selector. This pseudo is a class keyword. It is used to apply some special character. Like uh, uh, when uh, when you move on to a uh, character element, it color changes or pointer cursor change to pointer some like that. Okay. Okay. And uh, do you know JavaScript? Yes, sir. I see nothing. So, what is JavaScript, and what are the common uh, tags for the JavaScript? Ah, yes, sir. JavaScript is nothing but a scripting language. It is used to change. It is used to dynamic change in a web web pages and used to perform front end validation. So, JavaScript used in front end, middleware, and back end also. In front end, you use Angular JS, React JS. In middleware, you use Node JS. In back end, we use MongoDB. Okay, okay. So, <coughs> why JS is so much important here? Ah, uh, because it make dynamic changes uh, during a run time. We can use a dynamic input. We can ta it takes dynamic input from the user. Make so, JavaScript is nice. Dynamic also we can uh, make through HTML also, right? Uh, no, sir, we can't make dynamic because we we fixed that. Uh, uh, for example, we take an element on a tag like S3 Cloud up in the program itself. So, how can we change like user? Okay. So, using JavaScript, we can change dynamic. Okay, okay. You know Python? Uh, no, sir. I know Java course. Also. Okay, okay. So, what is method? Uh, met if we calling a function with object reference, that function is known as method. Uh, it is executed when it is called. So, how to define method? In a different sir in uh, JavaScript. Yeah, JavaScript. Ah, huh. sir, we, uh, we define a method using function keyword, sir. Can I share a screen and show? Yeah, sure. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Sir, we am use Sublime Text for editing JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah. Uh, yes. Sir, first we have a file. 
Can you make a bit uh, zoom? Yeah, yeah, sure, sir. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, HTML tag, we have header tag, body tag, HTML tag, mm -hmm. title tag also. We have a title tag in that we have this three. No, we want to define a method here. Yeah, sure sir, sure sir. So in HTML tag, we use JavaScript we using script tags. Hmm. We use script tag, in that script tag, we write a JavaScript code. Okay. That's that. This is a, inside a script tag, we write JavaScript code. Yes, we define a function using function keyword. Hmm. Function called main the function. Then at the last we should call a function. Calling a function. Okay. Yeah. This is the way to declare a method or function in a JavaScript. Okay. Okay. Can you write some uh, uh, function here? Some basic function. Yeah. Sure. Sir. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. In that function we. We initialize a variable let we using initializing variable using keyword let let a is equal to 10 next to print a variable using java in javascript use console dot log of what variable we display like we declare another variable here let we using that keyword that b is equal to 20 right we did so we display a and b also so here there is no need to compiler to compile the javascript code so we can run in the browser itself so in browser we go to inspect ah, go to inspect in console ah so this is a a is equal to 20 b is equal to 4 make some meaningful things use a is equal to e is concatenation here b Sir, yes, go to inspect and console. Yes, sir. Okay, good. A value of a is 10, value of b is 20. Yeah, nice. Uh, Nathan, do you have any question here? Uh, yeah. Sir, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, write a JavaScript code for adding a new element dynamically. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, we like that. Delete this. Yeah. Next, we using prompt function to add dynamically. Yes, so we have like declare keyword keyword user. This user can equals to it could be a number. When we call a function number. then use a form function in that we declare enter a number 
install way then go to print use console dot log of user save the code that run it works yeah just a minute save and browser yeah we have no shows that enter a number I enter a number 100 then it's okay then go to inspect and the console just 100 so we can use uh, another way uh, enter a number 200 then it shows 200 then we can put some meaningful value of number make concatenation here yes sir you enter a number 87 Yes, it shows 87. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, uh, what are global variables and give some example of global variables in JavaScript? Ah, yes. yes sir, in, yeah, well, in general, variable is nothing but a small memory location. It is used to store a single value. So, in JavaScript, there are two types of variable, global variable and local variable. Global variable is nothing but we declare a variable outside a function like something is a function when declare a function outside it's called global variable let declare a function let uh, message is equal to if we have string string s3 cloud up yes. we declare a variable message and the message contains s3 cloud up yes. we Initial when we declare a variable in that so we call the variable inside a function also so it can be accessible next console dot log of message save this open in browser yes yes this is we call a function outside of fun outside of a function, call a variable, then we use a variable inside the function. It's called global variable. Okay. Uh, write the Fibonacci series program. Yeah, sure, sir. Fibonacci series is nothing but a sum of two variable. Uh, the, 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 the way the number is sum of two numbers is the preceding ones. Like we have a variable as zero and one. Next, the sum of two preceding ones. That's zero, one, and is one. One plus one is two. Two plus one is three. Three plus two is five. Like that, this yeah. is called Fibonacci series. So we write the balance here. First, we int a variable, two variable. Next, I enter the variable let first num num one is equal to zero. Then another variable let num two is equal to one. Next, we declare another variable store the adding of these two numbers. Then we declare let equal to zero first we initialize here sum is zero then we perform using loop uh, using for loop or uh, a while loop which is okay i am using for loop for loop in that for loop initialize a variable variable let i is equal to zero 
5 less the equal to uh, I print to you first 10 numbers so using 10 I plus plus then we we clear in that indicating for our functionality using sum is equal to number 1 plus number 2 and the print console dot log of num1 print num1 num1 then we assign num1 to num2 to num1 then we assign sum yeah, this is my port then let me see the output. Plus one more curly bracket. Yeah, yes. <coughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so uh, write a program to print the given year is a leap year or not. Ah, yes. Sure. Yeah, we, I use this, this function, yeah. the function, let, let, what is the, a leap year is nothing but, every fourth year is a leap year, hmm. and hundredth year is not a leap year, like uh, 2000 is a not leap year, then every fourth year is leap year, uh, like, so we declare a variable, let, here is equal to so I am only using dynamic input so per home function is enter a year then we use if condition if year Modulus of four equal to zero and I use and condition then then here modulus of hundred where is not equal to zero. So, here is here. Then I use only else condition, else if condition. Here model of so 400 here is a leap year. So I use this condition, then print. Yeah, next, but refresh the page. 
which left attack year 1997 is a year the year is not a leap year let's take another example let's take 1990 that's 2004 take 2004 as the year is leap year okay uh, so uh, write a program that prints a square root of a number yeah sure sir. so i uh, is modify this pro program oh sir uh, some network yeah. issue with you i think uh, can i just number. check once uh, sure sir. sir now it's fine actually but in between somewhere it's lagging uh, your video goes off and showing the lag right now it looks okay yeah let's continue yeah sure sir. yeah let's uh, in that we take a number from the user's help let's we declare a variable let Take a page 15, 15 square is 225. Okay. Uh, so, how to delete a property specific value? Yeah, we use delete properties. We use delete property to delete the property in the object. Okay, and what do you mean by a null in just? Uh, null is nothing but a absence of a value. For example, we show here. Is a null is called as a dummy value also. Yeah. Okay, it has null. So we check the result of A also. Null. Null is nothing but the absence of a value. Okay. So, uh, which is faster in JavaScript and a script? Which one is faster? 
so i don't know the answer but i try to answer i think it's javascript is a faster uh, one more question uh, yeah so one what is the difference between uh, null and blank value ah uh, sir yes sir uh, blank is nothing but there is no value in that memory location that is called blank null is not we can manually put the memory is blank but is we put the a va- value of a is not the value of another variable is not we can manually put the value which should be null that is called null and different null and blank okay uh explain how to read and write a file using javascript so sir how to read and write a file using javascript Right. File operations. So that is what type of any files? Uh, any any files like txt files. Any any. Sorry, sir. I don't know. Uh, you no need to uh, uh, write a code. You can explain uh, if you are aware about how to read the file using the JavaScript. Are you aware about file handling? Uh, ah yes, yes. yes. Okay, this explain. Uh, for this moment, I can't remember. Okay. Uh, can you give me one example of anchor tag? Yeah, sure, sure. Sure. Yeah, the script code is not what we did. It's a confusion. Also, so we, when we de- when we assign a hypertext, so we use the anchor tag. So we use anchor tag like that. Then in a reference, we use the URL of our object. We take www dot amazon dot in dot com. So we use anchor tag in body tag inside a body tag. Uh, we use anchor tag tag in that we write the URL of original. Then show a text called. Okay. Yeah. 
now we just use camping uh, manoj uh, yeah see uh, these are the basically practical questions and uh, you are pretty much uh, confident over there uh, let's move the some more question uh, can you tell me uh, what's your uh, strength and weakness yes my strengths are positive attitude self motivated and helping nature be confident uh, uh, coming to my weakness i can't say no when come some someone come and ask help okay and moving straight forward is also yeah i think that is my weakness nice but both are the not weakness both are the strength only <laughs> might be uh, you should have some uh, weakness right everyone have the weakness right yes sir yes sir then what's your weakness uh, uh, i think that i can't say it is my weakness it is my improving area okay say. I can't face strangers. Okay. Uh, I'm a, I a little bit slow in handle the situation. That is my thing. Okay. Okay. okay no problem let's move one more question so uh, for example you are you assign some uh, task in your uh, new projects in in your company okay and uh, you are not aware about how to uh, uh, solve some error or send it some error or some code issue so what should be your approach to fix that issue yes sir first uh, i try to solve the errors then okay. what i knowledge know then i use some reference i refer some reference then uh, i talk with my team members also uh, uh, yes sir this is the way that could be some more options also right you will not go to yes, go sir. to google yes uh, i tell say i directly approach to your reference. team member Uh, first i try to solve okay then uh, uh, can't solve then i approach to my team members okay If they can't also solve then i go to google okay then uh, okay. i and uh, i ask some help to some seniors who work in that uh, pass okay 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 uh, for example you stuck in uh, lift elevators okay Yes. What should be your five approach to come outside from your that particular situation? Uh, first, I read to contact someone. Okay. Then I I take a help of then uh, uh, I read to a uh, management who maintain that. No, lift. how will we reach? Because you are inside the lift, na? No? Yeah, I reach through phone call. That you already did. That's the first approach. You will call someone to come outside. Okay. What What is the else? We need five, four more. I shouting loudly. Okay. Someone help me. Okay. Second. Until the but but my last approach I wait until. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, someone comes to okay. rescue me. Okay. But that that is the last approach, na? No? You should yeah. try the first, na? No? But you give only two options. Yes, yes, What are yes, else? I, I try the all. I try my. I try all the possibilities. But what are the possibilities? Like That's I a do. question. Yes, uh, so that I try to call someone or shouting. Huh? That's two options is there. Huh? That's two options is there. Yes, sir. What else? Uh, another, I try to come out from the lift using a rope. Okay, uh, you will open the fan and you will come out the, like a uh, hero. Uh, yes. Okay, then the third approach is there. What else? You are missing one uh, basic fundamentals.
sorry sorry can't remember okay so there is one panic button right in every lift alarm yes, button yeah. yeah and now some lifts coming with the uh, call facility also right yes sir yeah that uh, the different approach <laughs> okay no problem uh, so these are the questions uh, that basically we are we need to ask in the different uh, uh, pressure level uh, interview so uh, this uh, whatever we did this uh, from theory to practical and uh, Uh, logical reasoning so thanks manoj thanks for your time and uh, i think uh, you you are uh, sound good in uh, javascript uh, you should focus on more on the javascript and uh, all the best for your uh, uh, future interviews and you'll get a uh, job soon okay and uh, for, uh, for thank you so much yeah can you just stop your thank screen you so sharing yeah sure sure yeah so i'm requesting to all uh, our uh, subscriber uh, uh, who wants to uh, uh, take their mock interview they can uh, reach to us you can write your comment and uh, we will select some of the friends we try to catch all and uh, based on the time available we can have the uh, mock interview and uh, that which basically you this will basically help us to um, grow and make your confidence So thanks Manoj uh, let us know if you thank have any feedback you, Yeah sir uh, this is very big thank you so much for uh, spending time with me the valuable time then uh, thank you for taking off uh, i think you are a good candidate to face fearing to interview right face the interview uh, i think this is the best opportunity to the candidate to to please utilize this opportunity Sir, as for that, yeah. Thank you, Manoj. Bye. Have a good day. Bye, sir. Have a good day. Bye, Manoj. Bye, sir.